Hi guys! Today we are going to be talking about artist Wayne Thiebaud and his very famous food paintings. So the subject of our artwork today is going to be food and you're going to need a piece of paper, something to draw with, and something to color with. So go grab those tools and come on back and then I will show you some examples of Wayne Thiebaud's art and we'll talk about what we're going to make. All right, boys and girls, we are going to take some inspiration from the Wayne Tebow artwork that we just looked at to create our own food art. And we are going to be creating a box of donuts today. And you are going to be the baker who designs what each of those donuts look like. We are going to be creating four donuts and we're going to be looking at the donuts from a bird's eye view, so from above. So we're going to draw the box that the donuts are in and the donuts inside of the box. So please get out your pencil and get ready to follow along. All right, so let's start by creating the box for our donuts. I am going to start by creating a large rectangle on my paper. It's okay if it's not perfect, boys and girls. Just do the best that you can. And if at any point during this video, Mrs. A is going too fast, you can always pause the video and rewind and watch something again. All right, so here is the box we're going to put four donuts inside that each of the donuts um, you are going to add some decoration or creative um, flavors to. So we're going to start there by creating four circles inside of this box. Now if we're creating four donuts we want them to all be about the same size so that means we can't start with a big giant circle in the middle of our rectangle because there won't be enough room for the rest of our donuts. So let's sort of plan out where we're going to put each of our donuts. So one in this corner, this corner, here, and here. All right, so there's the outside shape of our donuts, and now we're going to create the inside donut hole with a smaller circle on the inside. And again, please don't worry about it being perfect. All right, so there's our donuts. We have our box. We're going to try to make this look a little bit more 3D by adding some lines to show the sides of the box and the bottom. So here's how we're going to do that. We are going to create a diagonal line that comes down and connects to each of the donuts from each corner. So one diagonal here, one diagonal here, another here, and a final one here. Now this represents the sides of the box and the corners of the, of the box. Now we're going to create some vertical and horizontal lines to show the bottom of the box. And so we won't be able to see all of those details. So we're just going to connect from here to here with a vertical line. We'll do the same on the other side. And then we'll create a horizontal line between these donuts and these. So now we have the bottom of the box, the sides of the box, and a representation of the corner. And now we're looking straight down into the box at our four donuts. All right, so nice job with that, guys. We're gonna move on to the fun part of creating all the different flavors of our four donuts. So you can decide how you wanna decorate each of your donuts. I can't wait to see how creative you can be, but I'm gonna show you a couple of uh, a couple that I made. So I'm gonna start maybe at the top corner here. I'm gonna add some frosting to each of my donuts. So I'm gonna do a wavy oval line or circle line here on each of my donuts to show the frosting. Frosted donuts are Mrs. A's favorite. So I'm gonna put frosting on all of them. So it's just a circle shape using a wavy line instead of a straight line. All right. So maybe on this one, I'll put sprinkles. So I'll use small, skinny oval shapes, kind of maybe all facing different directions to make all the sprinkles. All right, uh, maybe this one has M&Ms on it. Maybe it's an M&M 
donut. So I'm just gonna make some circles and then I'll go back in and color and add the M's at the end. And then, ooh, maybe this one's just plain. So I'm not gonna add any designs on that one, but I'm gonna color it with a fun color later. And then maybe this one has like a swirled flavor on top with its frosting. So I'll add some wavy parallel lines. Parallel lines are two lines that are um, matching lines that follow the same path, but they don't touch. And there we go. Those look great. So I'm gonna do a little quick uh, art teacher magic here to show you how mine look when they're all done. But your next step from here, friends, is to color in all of your donuts, perhaps color in the box, perhaps give your donut shop a name, which would be really cool. Um, when you are done, you should have all of your donuts colored in. And here are mine. <laughs> magic trick didn't go so well. There we go. All right, guys, here are my donuts. I can't wait to see what you guys made. All right, guys, good job. Um, go ahead and finish coloring in your food drawing. And then you have three options to show Mrs. A what you made. You can either send a picture on Canvas by clicking Submit Assignment at the top of our assignment page. You can have mom or dad send me a photo on Class Dojo if I am connected to your class, or you can just bring it into school to show me next time we have art. So have a great rest of your day, guys. I will see you soon.